In the last couple of years, about eight different decks have traded places here in my office setup. Will this Luxman DA250 be my endgame deck? But before we begin, let me explain to you what kind of features I like to see in a desktop deck. First off, besides being a very good deck, it should also be a very competent headphone amp. And an excellent preamp. And because I like to place my deck in a dedicated rack, it needs to have balanced XLR outputs so I can run long cables to my monitors. And finally, it should also have at least one analog input so I can play records every now and then. Meet the Luxman DA250, one of the few decks I have encountered that ticks all of these boxes. With its width of 36cm, this deck is more the compact type, but its weight of 5.4 kilos tells you that he should not be taken lightly. The casing is bomb proof, and all the screws are hidden on the underside. The gaps between the different metal segments are practically undetectable, and the material of the case is so thick that none of the sheets give way. On the inside, you'll find further quality workmanship. The various boards fit precisely in their specified position, framed by other components, which often come within a few millimeters, but they never touch. Even the connections between the components follow a strictly predetermined path. Internal cable bundles are held together by connections and never run across other components. The tremendously good build quality continues at the front. A large push button brings the DA250 to life with an audible click. The two protruding knobs move exclusively in the directions that dictate their mode of operation and are otherwise perfectly secure in place. The display is seamlessly encased in the solid front panel and clearly displays the various relevant parameters of the DA250. On the slim backside there is no shortage of connections. In addition to coaxial and optical SPDIF inputs, you'll also find the currently most important digital input, a USB-B socket. Luxman has also given its compact DAC an analog RCA input and two sets of analog outputs in the form of gold-plated RCA jacks and high-grade XLR terminals, manufactured by Nutrig. These can be set to either fixed or variable. This means that the DA250 can be connected directly to a suitable power amplifier or a pair of active speakers. Analog purists should be aware that the use of the RCA input always results in an analog to digital conversion, meaning that the signal always passes the internal deck first. The 6.3mm headphone jack is capable of driving headphones with an impedance of 16 to 600 ohms. The core of every DA converter is the selected DAC chip. Luxman appropriately chose the PCM1795 from Texas Instruments. The USB input is compatible up to 192.32 bit and DSD up to 5.6 MHz, whilst the SPDIF input supports up to 192.24 bit PCM signals. The converter has two different clocks. One is used for the 44.1 kHz frequency and the second for that of the 48 kHz. This saves conversion and ultimately leads to more precise results. Before I did any serious listening, I had the DA250 run in for two days straight with the help of the purest audio design Luminist Burn In CD. Ever since then, it's been a pure delight to listen to. Both my AudioLab MCDT and my Prime Mini 4 computer now completely lack the coolness that I sometimes experienced with other decks. There is a tremendous amount of flow, without ignoring even the smallest of details. The soundstage is wide open with excellent instrument placement and voices are set remarkably at the foreground. I feel there is a clear synergy with the active Dynodios, which are very revealing and usually never shy back to display any flaws further up the chain. But with the DA250, they seem to have found their match, and now they're just great fun to listen to. So, 
is the Luxman DA250 my endgame desktop deck? Well, hopefully it's not the last deck that I will ever own. But for the time being, I don't feel any need to upgrade. I'm quite taken with the sound quality that this compact deck delivers here in my little desktop setup. And I'm convinced it would even make a nice main system in combination with a good power amp or a pair of quality active speakers. And that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you!